everybody, it's Miss Bianca from Crowder County Park and Historic Yates Mill County Park. Today we are going to be doing one of our story times and the book is going to be Whose House Is This? And this is a book that's going to be about animal homes, webs, nests, and shells. This was written by Elizabeth Gregory and illustrated by Derek Alderman and Denise Shea. So we're going to take a look at this book, but I also wanted to show you a couple of animal homes around the park. So we are in the woods today, so let's go find some. So here is an animal home, and it's actually going to be little wasps that live in this tree. And so they're not active right now because it's so cold, but this is going to be someone's home. Whose house is this? Well, one thing that likes to live in these hollowed out trees is going to be our rat snakes. So rat snakes are actually going to be tree snakes, tree dwelling snakes that live in the forest. And a lot of the times they'll hang out in these hollowed out trees. Do you know whose home this is? This here is a beaver lodge right off of Crowder Pond. Whose house is this? Well, this is actually going to be where a squirrel lives. So squirrels create nests up in trees and they're quite large, but they put a lot of leaves and a lot of things in there to make them nice and warm and cozy. So that's going to be a squirrel's nest. And here we have possibly someone else's home. Surprise, surprise. What looks to us as just a fallen log is actually home a lot of different critters. So for one, some of our salamanders, like spotted salamanders, are going to like living in places like this. They'll usually live like right underneath the log or maybe in the hollowed out part. And also insects, as you can see, you have termites, you're going to have ants, um, lots of little uh, like worms and grubs are going to love living in uh, fallen down logs. Whose house is this? A look at animal homes, webs, nests, and shells. Come on in and find a clue about who is who. Look closely at an animal's house. It can be a huge cave or a tiny leaf. An animal's house can be soft, nest, or a hard shell. It can stretch across a dusty corner of your house. A lot of animals use their houses to stay safe from hungry predators. A house can offer shade from the sun. It can be a place for storing food or taking a long winter nap. Animal houses don't all look alike because they don't all work alike. So let's see, can you tell whose house is whose? Let's start. Whose house is this dangling on a tree? This is a red-eyed tree frog's leaf. During the day, this frog may sleep under a leaf of a rainforest tree. The cool shade keeps the frog's skin moist. At night, the tiny frog leaps from leaf to leaf, searching for insects to eat. A fun fact, these frogs have suction cups on the tips of their toes. That's why it can climb on skinny leaves and branches without falling off. Whose house is this? stretching from wall to wall. This is a black widow spider's web. Its house works like a trap. When a beetle wanders into the spider's web, it gets all tangled up. The beetle becomes the spider's supper. Not so fun fact. Watch out for the black widow spider. It might bite people when they're guarding their eggs in the web. Whose house is this? sliding so slowly on a garden path. Hmm. This is a snail shell. A snail carries its house on its back. When the snail gets scared, it pulls its soft body inside the hard shell. Hungry animals will find something easier to munch on for lunch. Fun fact, land snails have to keep moist. If the weather gets too dry, the snail will seal itself inside of its shell. It makes a door out of dried slime. Whose house is this? So soft and cozy. This is an Arctic hare's nest. The Arctic ground is hard. An Arctic hare can't dig a burrow the way some other rabbits do. 
In spring, the mother makes a cozy nest from grass and her own fur. In winter, the Arctic hare is white. It blends in with the snowy ground, which is camouflage. In spring, the hare turns color to blend in with its nest. Whose house is this? Poking out of a rushing river. We know who this is. This is a beaver's lodge. A beaver family lives here. The busy beavers built the lodge out of sticks and mud. The entrances to the lodge are underwater. That keeps hungry predators from coming in. Fun fact, a beaver family often builds a dam in front of the lodge. The dam blocks the river. The dam will keep the water around the lodge high enough to cover all the entrances. Whose house is this? High up in a backyard tree. What do you think? This is a nuthatch nest, which if you listen closely, there might be some chittering in the background as we read our story today. A nuthatch builds its nest in a roomy hole inside of a tree. The bird smears crushed insects around the opening. The insect bodies will change the smell of the nest which helps to keep predators from getting inside. They will not know that there's eggs inside of the nest. Fun fact, when a nuthatch visits a bird feeder, it takes some extra seeds. It stores the seeds inside cracks in its tree. So it has a little storage area. That's very smart. Whose house is this? So dark and spooky. This is a bat cave. In winter, a big group of bats hibernate in a cave. The bats sleep hanging upside down from the cave ceiling. They huddle together to stay warm. Aww. Fun fact, when it isn't hibernating, a bat stays in its house only during the day and leaves at night to hunt. And that's because bats are nocturnal. All right, let's see if you know this one. Whose house is this in the middle of the block? Hmm. This is your house or a human's house. Like a bat, you sleep in your house. You live with your family, just like a beaver. Your house keeps you as cozy as an Arctic hare and as safe as a snail. What else does your house do? Fun fact, most likely your house is also home to many other kinds of creatures. Do you have pets, bugs, mice? Who else lives in your house? 